the incident between you, Little Wayne, and Birdman, yo, what exactly happened with that? Because you mentioned it earlier, but um, go into detail about that. What's the truth behind that? Um, that shit, man, that shit, niggas was younger, and at the same time, you know, Lil Wayne was doing that little weird shit, bro. He was dissing, he was dissing Crips in his songs and shit like that, so I wanted to holler at that. You know what I'm saying? Baby was doing a little weird shit. Uh, my homie Mac Minister, he had caught a, uh, he, he, Mac Minister in jail for the murders for, uh, Mac Dre, right? Mac Minister is in jail for the murder of Fat Tone and Cowboy, supposedly for the retaliation of Mac Dre. You know what I'm saying? That's all some, you know what I'm saying? If y'all ain't seen that, uh, that reaction I did on Mac Minister, go check that out, man, because it got a lot of details about that situation as well. And he locked up in Vegas fighting his appeals right now, but Mac Minister used to live with me, and back then Mac Minister used used to go with baby. So I'll drop him off at the airport. Boom, he'll go stay out there with baby and then move. He'll fly back. And one time he flew back. He's like, man, fuck this shit like that Bodie. I'm like, what you mean by that? Cause like, I'm saying that, like a real cause like, that's how Mac talk. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about F-A-G-G-E-T. You know what I mean? My name's from the bank. Oh, Lord. So he like, I'm like, I'm asking, he like, this kissing, he, I watched him kiss Lil Wayne in his mouth. I said in his mouth. I said, man, you like you be lying. He like, I swear to God. He said, I said, what you mean? Like he smooshed him on his cheek or something? Like, no, nigga. they tongue kissed. I like, man, hell nah, man. You you tell we already seen him. We already seen these kiss on the lips, right? Which that was crazy, you feel me? And then remember, remember uh Turk Turk interview with, with Vlad, he was saying that. Baby had them all brainwashed like that, you know what I'm saying? Or some he was explaining it was like some, like that's how you, how they used to play with their homeboys, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. But then we get these revelations, right? Phony Glock say these was tongue kissing, homie. Like hell no, nah. you feel me? And then he recorded one time. Let me see it, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, cause. But then he fell out with Baby, and Baby. Left this nigga called my phone and left this voicemail on my phone that really pissed me off. You feel me? And he was like, uh, this man is for Mac Minister. Look here, yeah, nigga, I got enough money to blow you and your whole block up. Woo woo, some. You know what I mean? So when he, when I, I hit, like, hey, cuz, like, this my blow. Woo woo. Oh, my bad, man. My, my apologize. Oh, I never apologize first. Hey, you know what's crazy? I think I do remember, I do remember, uh, uh, the whole situation with Birdman and, and Mac Minister getting into it and Birdman leaving that message. I don't think I got the details of the message, though, until now, man. Shout out 40 Glock. First of all, cuz, that's the homie, nigga. Third of all, nigga, what's happening, nigga? You know what I'm saying? And then from there on, so it was always, always that bad taste, bad, you know what I mean? Like, I'm the type, the Mac was my nigga, you feel me? And never, you know what I'm saying? It was like that. It was, you know what I mean? It, and that transpired, it already got a bad taste. You feel me? And then you had Lil Wayne doing this whole little weird shit. So we went to get at the niggas. That was all. That was all. We went to get at Yeah, okay. So now we get some insight as to why. Because, you know, I always thought Fody Glock, you know, was kind of like picking on, you know, Lil Wayne and Baby and them. Not picking on them, but as far as like when it comes to the West Coast, you know, because when niggas come over here, you know, you can you bossy and all that, but niggas, man, you niggas know. Niggas know how it is, man. That's why they that's why you gotta check in or whatever they be saying, you know, because it gets serious, right? But I thought Fody Glock and them was just basically pressing Lil Wayne and them for no reason and out the blue. And at the time, right? I ain't gonna lie, like niggas was listening to Lil Wayne heavy. Like, okay, man, Lil Wayne nigga was running the game. You know what I'm saying? Me, so as far as like popularity and being one of them niggas, it was like, come on, man, who was 40 Glock, nigga? You pressing Wayne, nigga, then. But at the same time, you like, me being from the West Coast, I'm like, nigga, it's the West, nigga. He a crib, nigga. Nigga, I already know how, nigga, how niggas is pushing. So, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I thought, like, what's, like, what's this nigga issue? Now we get some insight as to what his issue was. He say, he say, nigga, when the nigga left the message, he called him back, like, nigga, First of all, nigga, this my phone, nigga. Secondly, nigga, that's the homie, nigga. Thirdly, nigga, what's cracking?
You know what I'm saying? Tony Cock a cold nigga, man. And I respect that. Like, nigga, that's real nigga shit, man. Like, that's how the homies are supposed to press for the homies, nigga. Simple as that, man. Like, nigga, you know what I mean? You you talking about this, that, and the third, man. Hold on. What are you talking about, nigga? This is my people's. Can you pipe that down a little bit when it comes to my folks? You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, Birdman was pushing a cold line, man. That's a trip, though. Just imagine that, man. Getting a message on your phone for the homie. From Birdman talking about, nigga, I got, a, I got enough money to blow you in the whole block up, nigga. Y'all better stop playing. And this, the cold part about it is he wasn't capping. You know what I'm saying? We know he wasn't capping, but, in the, you know, the West Coast is it's just a little bit different, man. You know, like the, even the pipeline, you know, we separated, man. Cali separated from everything out there. You know what I'm saying? It would have been hard for him, like, like to try to, like, blow Philmo up. Cause that's, where, that's where Mac Minister from. Mac Minister from Frisco. Philmo, you feel me? So... For him to, you know, try to get in touch with them niggas out there. I'm sure he locked in with some niggas out there, but it just don't work like that. You feel me? Niggas, it's real political out here. You feel me? You know, niggas, niggas will jump for some money, but at the same time, you know. But like I was saying, though, Mac Minister, you know, he is down for Fat Tone and Cowboy, you know. He was convicted of it. Like he said, he fighting his appeals, and I did do a, um, a reaction on a jail phone call where he tapped in and he was explaining the situation, explaining how he got railroaded and this, that, and the third. Like they, you know, they they went out their way to convict him. You feel me? Like it was it was kind of like a dirty game. You feel me? And you know, he fighting the appeal. He trying to get back. It's a cold game, man. If y'all want to check that out, that's that's on the channel. Just type in um, Mac Minister We is Gang. It should pop up. I don't know, but shit. Uh, Y'all niggas let me know what y'all think about. Shout out to Art of Dialogue, first off. Shout out Art of Dialogue. You know I be tapped in. You know, that ain't even a question. But look, uh, I was watching, because I've been watching the whole series, you feel me? I actually did a reaction yesterday. Man, that shit got deleted, though. But I did a reaction to Fody Glock explaining the situation where he got jumped by the game, right? And he said they doctored the video up. Because a nigga like me, I was like, I always kind of like, I believe him. I ain't gonna lie. I believe that it the footage was doctored up and that he may have got jumped or what have you. Cause the way he was talking there and the way he was presented, you know, to to the masses, right? The way I was introduced to him was from the like the Ply situation, the Lil Wayne situation. So he kind of like came across as the bully. You feel me? Or as a boy, and or at least not a nigga who finna just go out like that. You know? So you know, I like I said, I took his word for it initially, and you know. He's still sticking with the same story, man. Y'all should go check that out. That's on the Art of Dialogue channel. It's hella funny, man. That's why I ended up reacting to it, man. I was cracking up the whole time, but the video ended up getting deleted. Yeah, that's neither here nor there. Y'all niggas let me know what y'all think down below, though, man. It's guy. Say up. Oh, you can't say oh, playing with that paper, ho. Oh, nigga need that paper. Oh, need it now and not later, ho. Oh. Say up. Oh, I can't oh, play with that paper, ho. Oh. Nigga need that paper. Oh. Need it now and not later, ho. Oh. Fake ass, motherfuckers be showing all that fake ass love. Get that shit away from me. Get that fake ass shit away from me, nigga. Before I explode on one of you bitch ass niggas, nigga.